Hello and welcome to Practice English with Paul. Today, this video is very short, but very important and very useful. Now, as you know, when you have been learning English, when we talk about an object, we always say it. We say it for everything. It's a table, it's a chair, it's a floor, it's a ceiling, it's a shirt, it's an ear, it's an eye. But many European languages can say he is an eye or she is a kitchen or he is a table. Not in English, always it. But sometimes we can say he or she for certain objects. The first one, animals. If you watch Animal Planet or you go to the zoo and you see a lion, it's not personal to you, it's just an animal over there, it. That giraffe, it's huge, that elephant, it's grey, uh, that hamster, uh, it's tiny. Now, imagine if that animal is very personal to me, like a pet. This is my hamster. He is so small. This is my rabbit. She is fluffy. This is my dog. He is a golden retriever. So when the animal is personal, we say he or she. Well, because we know it's a he or she. Number two, countries. Surprisingly, we can say she, not he, but she, usually. Now, I can say Russia. She is a huge country. England, she is home. She is where I'm from. It's not very common, but sometimes you will hear it, especially about nostalgia. Number three, and this is very common, when men usually talk about cars, boats, and planes, we say she. I don't know why, we just do. So if a man gets a new car, quite often he will say, look at my new car, she's beautiful, she was expensive. Or, for example, if you go to an air show to look at all the aeroplanes flying, wow, look at that new Boeing 787 Dreamliner, she is gorgeous. Um, you will often hear this in spoken English, not written, okay, but spoken English. Um, it's something that gives it more like a personal touch if we say he and she with an object. It's not common, but you will hear it, okay? Now, if there are any questions about this, please leave a comment below. Please like the video, please share, okay? Otherwise, have a fantastic day and have fun learning English, okay? Bye-bye.